Hey everyone. So today's Tuesday and I am getting ready to run up to Seth's school real quick because he left his water bottle at home this morning and he needs it. <laughs> According to him, he needs it. Um, but we didn't, it was too late when we realized he had left it. So I told him I would bring it up to the school. So I'm going to do that. And then what else? I'm going to the grocery store. Um, it's Tuesday. So we're going to do Taco Tuesday. And I just have a few other little miscellaneous errands that I need to run. We thought that our doctor's appointment was today. Well, I thought that our doctor's appointment was today, but it's tomorrow. Uh, so that kind of threw our day off a little bit, but it's all good. Um, but yeah, our last doctor's appointment is tomorrow. So it's super exciting. Um, well, our last doctor's appointment before I deliver the baby is tomorrow. And so, yeah, I'm just going to go and run a few errands and thought I would bring you guys along with. So that's what we're going to do. And I will... I'll come back when I get to my next destination. All right. All right, guys. So just left Sefton school and now I am at Starbucks getting ready to order me my first pumpkin cream cold brew. Good morning. Welcome to Starbucks. What can I get started for you? Yes. I want to get a grande um, pumpkin cream cold brew. Oh, you got it. Grande pumpkin cream cold brew. And Pumpkin loaf, yeah. Can I get that um, warmed up, please? Yeah, of course. Anything else? That'll be it. $8 even. Thank, Thank you. you. So, I'm super excited because I'm not quite ready for the hot pumpkin spice latte, but I'm here for the cold brew iced all day. So, this is my, my first of many this season, and I'm super excited because... I've been kind of bootlegging it at home with my little Starbucks pumpkin spice creamer and that's been all good and you know fine but nothing compares so that's what I'm getting now and what else I wanted to show you guys the lippy that I've been wearing my she beauty and leveled up been loving this because it's matte so it doesn't transfer like easily on like my mask and stuff so this has been great um, I do put like a lip balm underneath so my lips aren't like super dry but I've been loving that put my sunglasses on what else do I need to do while I'm out? Oh, I need to get some little bins for Sefton. Um, my mom is going to be with him while I am at the hospital. Um, she'll be with Sefton, getting him to school and everything. Uh, and I'm going to be in the hospital for about two to three days. So to make things easier for my mom, I want to get something, some little bins so that I can put all of his clothes for the week. Kind of like already have it like organized for her. And so she doesn't have to worry about finding him like things to wear every day because he's a little picky. So I tend to let him pick what he wants to wear every day. And a friend of mine, I saw her do this with her two younger boys. Hold on, y'all. I've been kind of bootlegging it at home with yeah. the Starbucks uh, the creamer. One, yeah, the but creamer. It, it, it doesn't compare. No. Okay, <laughs> you too, going. thank you. Um, so, we have our pumpkin cream cold brew. Best thing ever. But I was saying, my friend Vanessa, um, 
had posted probably like two years ago that she gets these like she gets like five bins and she labels them Monday through Friday and she has two younger boys um, around Septon's age I think they're like in uh, elementary school and she puts their clothes in there for the week underwear socks outfit and I thought that was just like such a great idea so um, I'm gonna go and target and see if I can find they're just like those little like collapsible bins and I swear he had these bins before and I probably threw them away because I'm, I'm good for throwing things away but I'm gonna buy some more just to make things a little bit easier for my mom while she's there with him and um, yeah so let's see I need to pull over and enjoy this. This is not something that I can enjoy while I'm driving. So good. It's like the perfect amount of pumpkin spice. Amazing. So anyway, that's what we're gonna do um, right now. I'm just trying to think of the things that I need to do before I actually go to the grocery store because once I go to the grocery store, I'm going straight home. So, we're gonna run in Target and grab some bins. And hopefully I don't accumulate anything else that I don't need while I'm in here. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's what we're gonna do and then we're going to the grocery store, all right. Good morning guys so it's the next day I'm just sitting here waiting on my fashion file item to be delivered they just sent me a delivery update and it says it's out for delivery so I'm just sitting here waiting on that I did get a Nordstrom package yesterday um, I'll share that with you guys as well but I'm like super excited for this fashion file item because something that I got rid of and regretted. And that usually does not happen with me with purchases. Like I don't get attached to things. I have no problem selling bags. I've sold tons of bags. Uh, but yeah, this is a bag that I actually, 
I owned three of them. I owned it in blue, tan, or like a camel color, and red. Um, the blue and the camel color I sold to Fashion Foul years ago, and then the red one I sold to a friend. And I often get asked here, um, where do I sell my bags when I get rid of them? Um, and it's usually Fashion Foul or friends. I have lots of friends in the luxury community. Um, I'm not a part of any Facebook market groups or anything like that. But I used to be a part of the purse form. And so I gained a lot of friends there who I still keep in contact with. And whenever I wanna sell an item, um, I always reach out to them first. So yeah, that's what I do. Um, and back in the day, I used to use eBay. Like I was a big eBay seller, but I haven't sold anything on eBay in ages. So yeah, um, I'm hoping that I like it um, because it is something that I really, really, really want to have back in my collection. So we'll see. Um, so yeah, I'm just sitting here waiting on that. We had our last doctor's appointment this morning. It went well. Baby is doing good. He is moving like crazy i got no sleep last night i tossed and turned all night uh, it was uh, it was so bad um i woke up at like three and then i woke up again at five <laughs> and so it's so funny because now we're going to be up for other reasons not because you know of my tossing and turning but because a baby is going to be keeping us up every few hours in the night but it's all good we're ready for him can't wait to meet him i can't wait for you guys to meet him so yeah but um it was a really quick doctor's appointment i mean very routine and um yeah just kind of finalized everything for my um delivery date i just had some breakfast and my coffee speaking of coffee one of my followers uh messaged me on instagram <laughs> that um, Nespresso is doing an early release on the pumpkin spice cake pods. And so um, I checked my email and they did send me the email um, today. And so I went ahead and ordered my, my pumpkin spice cake sleeves. Um, so those should be coming in the next couple of days. So I'm excited about that. Um, what else that's pretty much it so so yeah once my package arrives I'll share that stuff with you guys all right guys so today is Thursday and I had every intention on getting this video out to you guys yesterday but I missed the delivery because we were out running errands but anyway I received the package about 30 minutes ago and I'm gonna do an unboxing for you guys. I have not opened it, so this is going to be a true unboxing. Also, I didn't mention this yesterday, but this is my very first pre-owned item ever. I have never purchased anything pre-loved, pre-owned. All of my purchases have always been new. Uh, and that's just my preference. I just like the experience of buying new, but for this particular item, I chose to go pre-love for so many reasons. Um, Price-wise, it just made sense. Um, like I said yesterday, I've owned this item three times, and once I open it, I'll share with you all what I received when I sold these items to Fashion File, just so that you can see that this bag does not hold its value. So that's a little hint for you all. Um, so it just only made sense for me to not buy this item new. And so when it comes to things like that, I have no problem looking at in the pre-loved market, um, but it's very rare for me to shop pre-loved um, just because a lot of the time it just doesn't make sense. Like I'm not gonna buy a pre-loved item if I'm only going to be saving a few bucks. If I can save thousands, 
absolutely uh, but a couple hundred here and there i'd rather just buy it brand new and get the full experience and know that i'm the only person who has owned it touched it all the things so anyway let's go ahead and get into it so i have my little box cutter here i'm gonna open this up kind of nervous again it's different feeling when it's something that's pre-loved um, versus new because you just don't know what you're gonna get um, so as you can see there there's a little thank you card I should probably take a picture for my thumbnail hold on Okay. All right. Here we go. It's in the dust bag. Fashion file dust bag. My very first. It's really nice. Just look. Okay. Are you guys ready? I'm so nervous. Okay. Ta-da! So, I decided to go with another balenciaga city bag with the classic hardware the color is tan i think yeah and if you guys have been following me here on my channel or on instagram you know that i did own several balenciaga bags i am a huge fan of the classic city bag and this one looks really really good now if you know anything about balenciaga the older they get the better they look so you can't really look at the leather aging as a defect um, because i personally love the look of that i was going back and forth between this color and black and i was texting my friend siobhan and i was sending her like so many pictures of black and she sent me some photos of some tan ones and i was like oh maybe i'll get tan because i don't just have a solid neutral tan bag and i thought that this would be nice for you know fall winter spring summer i mean really you can't go wrong with this color but i love it it's just like the perfect neutral bag that it's very low key balenciaga is like kind of one of those um designers that if you know you know um but it did come with um everything attached so the mirror the mirror is attached also has the authenticity little card and the little booklet here so that's nice and it also has a little textile little piece that comes with all of the balenciaga bags see if it has the exact name of the color on here so doesn't say but here is the info there and that's everything that was in the little front pocket and they just put some little bubble wrap in here it does come with the shoulder strap i'm thinking about getting a longer strap so that i can wear it crossbody um so i have to look for one of those but inside looks really really good it smells fine it doesn't have like an odor or anything like that it actually still has the sticker on the little plastic on the little bar where the um like serial number is there's nothing in this pocket but yeah looks really good i'm very 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 impressed 
um, a lot of you guys when I posted on my Instagram that I was getting my first <laughs> pre-loved item you all were like oh you're gonna have a great experience um, some of my like close friends had told me that they've had nothing but really good experiences with fashion files so that made me feel good but yeah I'm so happy to have this back in my collection I'll pop up some photos of the two that I sold to Fashion Foul, um, the blue one and the tan one, so you guys can see how much I made um, versus what I paid. Um, so this bag I purchased for $645. So yeah, I'll look up what this bag retails for and I'll list it here for you guys, but I think I'm going to keep it because it actually looks much better in person than I thought. Um, I thought it was gonna be like too dark, but this is literally like the perfect tan. Let me know what you guys think. So I'm very impressed for my very first pre-loved item. Just give you guys a little close up here. Like there's literally no major wear or tear at all to this bag. It's, it looks, stunning so I'm very impressed I'll just show you guys how it looks zipped up all right so that's my newest bag that I wanted to add back to my collection so I'm so happy to have this back and I'm even happier that I got it for an amazing price and I'll link some for you guys below if you're interested in, in the bag as well. Um, I'll put a few that I was looking at um, in the description box. From Nordstrom I just ordered some Skims. Um, this is my first ever Skims purchase. But I was just trying to find some stuff that I can wear, like postpartum, that was comfortable. And I decided to try out some skims. So I got these pants. I also got the matching um, tank, and the color is bone. And so, it's, I got both in a size medium, so hopefully they work out for me. But yeah, just this little skim set. So yeah, guys, that was everything that I wanted to share with you all today. Hope you all enjoyed this vlog. If you have any questions or comments, just list them below. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll leave my Instagram below for you all. And I will catch you all in the next one. Bye.